I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee. Whew, don't just sit there and lie. That's more better. I'm going to tell you some stories to make you laugh, I think. So I'll start right now. You know, this story would remind me about something I got to tell you about. And it just tickles me to death because it's supposed to be true. Down in Crowley, Louisiana, I got a friend that's got a big rice farm. And he raised cattle too down there. And one day he was in his house watching television for the midday news. And flap, 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 somebody done knock on his door, you know. And he goes to the door and there's one of them bureaucrats. And he don't even introduce himself. He pulled a laramated card out of his pocket and he shoop, chunk it right in that cage and face. He said, you see them cards? My friend said, I got to, it's in my eye. <laughs> he said, well, that card give me the authority and the right and the privilege to look at anything I want to on your plate. That card say, you can't stop me. I can look all I want. There ain't a thing you can do about that. I'm gonna look. My friend said, go ahead and look till your eyeballs fall on the ground. <laughs> That's all right with me. So he laughed. And my friend went back in to see the rest of the news. And after a while, he year out there, help, help. Won't you help me? Please help, help. Well, he run outside and he go back up his barn where he got a big corral back there. And he got his prize Santa Gertrude's bull back there. He go back there, and there that bureaucrat running around and around in them prize bull, tree step behind him, trying to make it three all the time. I'm trying to make it just two. He get there real close, and he run by. Help, help, please help me. Help, help, please help me. He watch him come by there the third time, and he say, help. He say, show him your card. Show him that card you got there. Not today.